Uh, ball game from from uh, for our guys today. Uh, every player in our lineup uh, had a hit and scored a run today. Uh, so our our balance was really really good. Uh, only three strikeouts on offense, so we swung the bats very well. Very aggressive. Um, you know, Logan had a good day. Uh, scored a run, drove in a run. Uh, Seth had a nice day, hit a home run, scored three runs. Uh, Bird. Uh, even though we only had one hit, hit the three-run homer, which was big for us. Uh, Cromwell had a nice day today. A two-out hit there uh, in the first inning. Had bases loaded one out, and we needed to pick up something there because they hit two solo shots in the first. We needed to be able to pick up something. I thought that was a huge at bat in the game uh, to tie the ball game there in the first inning. Um, you know, we did a good job offensively. I thought Crawford threw the ball fairly well. I mean, it was a tough day to pitch. I mean, you could tell in batting practice, we had guys, there were guys hitting balls over the batter's eye, over the scoreboard in BP. It's very rare that you see the wind blow like that here at Doug Kingsmore. Uh, it was just a, a really good day to hit, but you know, some of those balls were hit pretty well too. Uh, they, they, not too many of those balls were wind aided. So, um, you know, both teams swung the bats well uh, today. I uh, thought we hit it just a little bit better, and we were able to hold on. Um, and as far as tomorrow's game, got to try to figure out what we're going to do out of the bullpen. Obviously, we've used a lot of our pin over the first two ball games, and you know, hopefully Higgy can give us a deep start, and we can get to strike one. I think that's a big key for us. We got to get to, to strike one, and we've got to limit the free pass. You know, the the free pass is a killer when you're playing a team against like Florida State, who leads the country and walks as an offense. They do such a good job of forcing you to throw the ball over the plate, of working the count, and uh, getting into the bullpen because of that. So, you know, we got to get to strike one tomorrow. Uh, continue to play good defense. We've had a great weekend defensively. Uh, played very very well defensively, and uh, swung the bass well today. And hopefully, we can carry that into tomorrow. Well, you know, you know, Seth, Seth, um, it's just a matter of time. And, you know, hopefully today's performance uh, can get him going in the right direction. Um, he definitely swung the bat well today, hit the home run, and, you know, had another hit, scored three runs. So uh, hopefully Seth uh, can get it going for us. We, we definitely need him to be a force for us offensively down the stretch here. Uh, there's a chance Ryan Miller uh, could be available, but you know we'd have to see. You know, just it, he he bounces back pretty good. Um, it's just a matter of you know just kind of seeing where he's at. I would imagine Spires will be fine. He'll be able to throw tomorrow. Uh, Spencer, um, he's I think right at about thirty something pitches today. Um, I don't have the pitch count in front of me, but you know I, I'm not sure if he would be available tomorrow or not. Uh, so, um, and we just have to piece it together. We've got Owen Griffith available. We've got some left-handed options out of the bullpen available uh, and Spires available. So, uh, you know, we'll do what we got to do and uh, hopefully we can score runs. That's going to be a big key for us tomorrow. We got to swing the bats like we did today, hopefully, and score some runs, give, uh, you know, give our pitching staff some, some support. Do you feel like juggling the lineup a little bit, maybe to, to give some people a jump? Well, you know, we felt like, uh, you know, I put Wilkie, in the two hole today, and I just felt like he's having really, really good at bats. And, uh, you know, we'd like to leave Chris in the four hole. We feel like Chris is one of our best guys with runners in scoring position, and he's been there pretty much the whole season. Uh, felt like sticking Wilkie up in the two hole just because he makes a lot of good contact and he hits well with runners in scoring position and uh, also helps us from a stagger standpoint. We feel like it's tough. I know on our end, it's very tough to pitch to a lineup that staggers righty, lefty, righty, lefty, righty, lefty, righty, lefty. So we felt like, you know, with Logan hitting left handed versus the right handed starter, then Wilkie righty, Seth lefty, and Chris righty, and then Birdie lefty just gives a pitching staff a lot of tough looks. Uh, and it's tough to match up that way. And it worked today, you know, so we'll uh, certainly consider doing it again tomorrow. Coach Jolly did hit last night with over three with runners in scoring position today, reached base three times, gets a ribby. Must have been good to see him rebound like that. Yeah, we needed, we needed Robert to be uh, good for us. You know, Robert gave us some really good at bats early in the season. He's been struggling here lately. We're a little limited. You know, we've got a couple injuries in the outfield. Uh, and we needed to put, uh, you know, put somebody in there that could that could do some things and give us good at bats. And Robert had a nice day today. Had two strikes on him with the infield in base hit through the through the jolly hole. You know, through the six hole. He likes to hit the ball the other way. Uh, so that was a big hit for us. 
Uh, drove in a run and scored a run as well. Drew two walks, uh, so he had a nice day uh, offensively for us. Bryce, yeah, yeah, Bryce is injured and is going to be out for a while. So he is going to be out for a while. Well, I felt like the two big hits of the day were, were the two I'd hit in the first by Cromwell uh, to give us something in that inning. You know, that'd have been a that's a pretty that's a pretty tough letdown to have bases loaded and not be able to get anything out of that, especially after they had hit two home runs in the first. They're up two nothing, you know, right out of the gates. We needed to be able to answer, and we did. So that was a huge at bat for us right there. Uh, and then uh, I thought Birdie's three run homer. You know, it was a big one right there just because, you know, it, it and that big inning in the third, it allowed us to distance ourselves from them and, and keep them down. Uh, so, um, you know, those were, you know, probably the two biggest at bats, in my opinion, of the game. Anything else? Thank you, Jeff, sir. All right, guys.